Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in the very front row at the Bad Baby concert. Let's start from the beginning. So a couple weeks ago, my friend Richard hit me up about going to a concert. Now this was no ordinary concert. This is Danielle Bergoli. Catch me outside, how about that? AKA Bad Baby. We gonna be performing any shit. Now I do not endorse Bad Baby in the least bit. I actually, I don't like her antics. <laughs> I don't really like her as a, as a person. I mean, I guess I could say that, but I have a feeling it's gonna be an absolute train wreck, absolute shit show. And so as a good friend, I told him that I would go with him. Here is Richard right now. Yo, dude. What's up? Are you, okay. are you amped for this concert? Dude, I'm so stoked. Like, this is a once in a life opportunity, dude. We're seeing a meme come to life. <laughs> and you know what's interesting is like, this is an all ages show, so the likelihood of us being there with like screaming 13 year olds. The type of crowd that we're about to see is the thing that I'm most like anxious for. All right, so I'm here at Richard's place. Still can't believe we're doing this. This is about to be the, like the weirdest thing ever. What's up? Yeah, boy, I was literally about to roll up with this. It's oh snap. Richard is the biggest closet, the biggest closet bad baby fan on earth, I think. Oh, there's nothing closet about it. I'm oh, legitimately shit. a fucking bad baby fan. A high key bad baby fan. Richard, I've never driven with you. I, yeah. I've never seen your hand controls. Oh, how, do yes. these, how do these so work? You press it down for brake, and then you throttle it towards you for acceleration. Dude, that's actually a lot simpler than I thought it was. <laughs> it's so easy, dude. Like I've been doing convenient. it long enough that I can literally do it one-handed. Like, I can steer with my thumb. I can text and drive if it's not already dangerous <laughs> enough. <laughs> even even paraplegics text and drive, bro. This is an epidemic. Shush. Shush. <laughs> Don't fucking tell nobody this shit. So, other question. Are we yes. about to get like special seats because you're in a wheelchair? I don't know. So do, some venues do have Cripple Kid VIP. Right? <laughs> I've never been to this venue before, so I don't know. Rarely do I ever pull out the Cripple Kid card, except for parking, lines, and seats at concerts. Dude, I, you know, I really hope Lil Yachty actually shows up because he's not on tour with her, but he I, lives in Atlanta. He lives in Atlanta. And he's, if, if that happens, I will personally give you a hand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, I really hope she sings the song version of Catch Me Outside, How About That? I doubt it. How about, I, how about I, that? I, Catch I, Me Outside, How About That? The, the hoes are laughing, yup. The hoes are laughing, yup. Savor this moment because either she's gonna be like 18 or 19 with like 14 baby daddies or she's gonna be like the next fucking superstar and nobody saw it coming. It's gonna be something. Alright, we made it to the masquerade. Here we go. It's somewhere down here because I've been. It's, it's it's down here. There's there's a couple different ones. All right, guys, y'all are right next door. This is that cripple kid VIP we're talking about. <laughs> Yo, Richard. 
What you thinking, man? About to go down. Right now, we just got done seeing Asian doll. Can you tell me how the fuck we got in the front row? Uh, well, first thing is, you have to have an accident that changes your life forever. Hey! What's up? Yo, see you guys watch the best way to make some fucking noise. VIP, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Everybody needs a disabled friend. I'm just saying. Which one did you get? I got the, uh, the white tongue shirt one. with the pink tongue. True fanboy here. True fanboy. I think I'm a baby. I'm a bad baby now. Is that right? Definitely. I wonder what her fan base is called. No, you don't I don't know. It helps. And I was going to go front row. And a big old bulldog put her arm in front of me and said, Stop it, queen. And I feared nothing but a bulldog. There we go. I got it. Look your arm here. She's about to lick 
Margaret. Yes, that's amazing. Ah! I got it. <laughs> Oh god, it's the closest to sex I've had in years. Thank you guys. <laughs> she whole straight thing licked it. I need to get like a wet nap now. I need a wet nap. For yeah. Crippled kid. VIP. That was actually more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, I knew was it was good. gonna be lit. Uh, low key, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, she like at one point like looked at me and smiled, and that kind of just fucking made my night. It made your night. Whatever it was that licked my armpit. Drag I'm queen. I'm gonna clean. I've got to clean my pit out because I felt this is a this is a glorious shot. Look at this, the Capitol building in the background. Let me just fucking hit you with a body blow. Oh, shit. yeah, I'm just fucking cleaning my armpits, bro. Just, just cleaning just the me. armpits, no just, biggie. Do you know where the weight room is? <laughs> Lil Yachty came out. You called that shit 100%. I called that. Dude, cause like, we're in Atlanta. She just did a song with Lil Yachty. Wait, why would he not show up? You it's, called he's that not, shit. He's not on tour with her. But. Th this lady in the background is probably just gonna be annoying the crap out of everybody. Yeah. Shut up, bitch! Fuck! We're trying to do a video over here! Fuck! Alright, so we are back from the show. I'm gonna dump some footage from Richard's phone onto my laptop. And then I'm going home because I'm tired. Like I like I had like a really good time. If we didn't have the Cripple Kid VIP, it would have definitely been a lot worse. We're ending this shit right now. The footage has been dumped. It's time for me to take a shower. It's time for you to go fucking home. Dude, Worth thanks it. for bringing me. Hell yeah. That was that was an experience of a lifetime. So here's my synopsis. The crowd was definitely really weird. It was a mixture of like kids that were like pfft, 12, like really young kids all the way up to like early 20 year olds to maybe even a little bit older. I was in the front, so I only really saw who was in the front, but I've definitely seen way worse. She brought out Lil Yachty, which props to her for being able to pull someone that big with that much influence. I, it wasn't my cup of tea, it wasn't my favorite show. It wasn't a show that I'd necessarily go back to again just because of like the cringe level. But at the same time, like she put on a pretty good show and if you like her music, why not? Go, go check it out. Might be one of the only times you'll get to see her. But anyways, that's, that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.